On Saturday morning came the big announcement and that is of course conferring Bharat Ratna to BJP's uh, top leader LK Advani. That announcement coming in from Prime Minister Narendra Modi who essentially had met LK Advani and his family and we could see in the pictures that there is a smiling LK Advani, uh, very happy with uh, the recognition that has been given to him as well. So LK Advani's contribution as far as the rise of the BJP is concerned has been considered to be immense. Not only was he BJP's longest serving national president, but he was somebody who had championed the cause of the Ram Mandir uh, and had taken up the Ram Yatra essentially, which actually built up the momentum as far as the Ram Janmabhumi movement is concerned. Elka Advani was also somebody who had served as a Home Minister and of course the uh, Deputy Prime Minister of the country under Atal Bihari Vajpayee's uh, regime as well. And currently is part of the BJP's Mark Dashang Mandal. The contribution of Atal Bihari Vajpayee to the cause of Indian politics, like the Prime Minister said, has been immense. And he's been somebody who's had a lot of contribution as far as nation building is concerned. And also cultural resurgence is what Prime Minister Narendra Modi has described uh, in his tweet that he has put out after meeting LK Advani. Of course, LK Advani's recognition comes in at a very crucial juncture. Just about last month, on the 22nd of January, Prime Minister Narendra Modi did the Pran Pratishta of the Ram Lalla Temple. And Ram Lalla was established in the new temple with much fervor as well. El Kadwani, even if he was invited to the meet uh, to that ceremony, was not able to go there for health reasons. And uh, many in the opposition rank, especially the Congress party, had hit out at the Cong had hit out at the BJP, saying that they were trying to undermine the contribution of El Kadwani and probably trying to uh, keep him away from the limelight as well. So this recognition coming to El Kadwani at such a crucial juncture holds a lot of key as well. Now, during the Narendra Modi regime, not only have we seen Bharat Ratna being given to El Kadwani this year, but also to Karpuri Thakur. Uh, the leader of the backward classes who actually raised a voice for the backward classes and he's also being he is also being conferred with Bharat Ratna this time around as well. Another significant change that one has seen as far as awarding the Bharat Ratna and Padma Awards is concerned from the Narendra Modi government has been the fact that multiple opposition leaders have been given these awards even though when the UPA was in power they refused to give Bharat Ratna to, uh, to uh, the leaders from the opposition camp. And even a request that was made to El made uh, to Prime Minister, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh from El Kadwani had fallen on deaf ears because he was asking for a Bharat Ratna for Atal Bihari Bajpayee and his contribution as well. So right from Pranam Mukherjee to Bhupen Hazarika to of course Gaurav Gogoi's father Tarun Gogoi, multiple leaders in the opposition have received uh, uh, you know the Padma Awards at the hands of the Narendra Modi government, which also includes uh, you know uh, which also includes uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav amongst the others. This is in a way to say that yes, uh, recognition has to be given, but it has to be given to those only who deserve it.